I went to Ireland last month. I've never been before, even though it's very close to the UK. Um, but yeah, whilst I was there, I discovered some family history, um, which connects to Australia as well. It turns out that an ancestor, I'm not quite sure how I'm related to her, I'll work that out at some point, but um, she'd been transported when she was about seven or eight and um, as a convict. And um, then she... <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and, um, Hannah's um, grandmother was from Australia, oh, claims yeah. vehemently that she wasn't descended from Yeah, convicts. it's all missionaries apparently, but I found out some dirty secrets. But, um, but yeah, it turned out that she, when she was about 13 or 14, became pregnant by one, someone who I'm pretty sure I'm related to. It's all a bit hazy. Um, and had four children by the time she was my age, 22. And, um, yeah, and this song kind of came out of that feeling of, you know, being taken to, forced from your home, taken to somebody, somewhere that you, um, you know, don't know about, and it's completely alien to you and you can't get back which a lot of people have experienced and still experience now. So this song is called Sarah, which was her name. Hands tied tight and watchful eyes on her. She sat so still, as still as she could in the belly of the beast I searched and cracked and Things can't be Sarah. She dreams of home long. Back. 